Saint Porphyrios lived during the reign of Emperor Aurelian and was from the city of Ephesus. From a young age, he was raised in the theater with the mimes, namely those who acted out every form and movement of people. Once he followed the Count of Alexandria to Caesarea, and there he acted out the holy baptism of the Christians, where he was baptized by another mime who falsely pretended to be a bishop. In this way, they mocked the mysteries of the Christians. Now, after he was baptized, he put on the white garment, as is the custom of those who are baptized, and oh, the miracle! He accepted the Christian faith and received grace from Christ. For when he was baptized, angels appeared before him, who taught him to pray towards the east, and how to seal his forehead and entire body with the honorable cross. Thus, by this miracle, many came to believe in Christ, and they were baptized by a cloud, thus entering the Catholic Church. The Count ordered St. Porfirios to deny his Christian faith, but he refused, and for this reason he was beheaded and received the crown of martyrdom. There are many mimes and actors who were martyred for Christ and are commemorated by the Church, and St. Porfirios is the first among them. All of them sought to mock the Christian faith, but divine grace proved that the Christian faith cannot be mocked. Among these other mimes is another St. Porfirios, who was commemorated on September 15th, but he was martyred under Emperor Julian the Apostate in the late 4th century. Since 1992, Orthodox Christian actors and artists began celebrating St. Porfirios as their patron saint. An entire divine office was composed for him by monk Herasimos Mikrajianantes. A similar thing happened to the comedian Henesius, probably in Diocletian's time. This Henesius parodied the Christian divine liturgy before a crowd of pagans, amusing them with his mockeries and witticisms. Suddenly he changed and cried out before the people, I believe and I desire to be baptized. At first the spectators thought his words were a part of his farce, but he repeated his statement of faith in Christ. When Henesius remained steadfast in his faith, even when interrogated by the court and the emperor himself, he was tortured and slain. Thus the mocker of Christ became a martyr for Christ. I would not be a puppet.